Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. That was a rough night for me in the hammock. Typically, I sleep pretty dang good in them, but not last night. Not at all. If you're just catching the video, we're up at deer camp. We did an overnight trip. We put up a video yesterday. If you missed that one, you might want to go check it out and get caught up. We checked a couple trail cameras and did some evening glass last night. We're going to get to the top of the mountain up here and do some glassing this morning and see if we can't find some big bucks. So far, we haven't really seen a big enough buck to hunt, so hopefully the morning glass proves that there is something up here. Old and mature buck. That's the goal. But yeah, good morning and welcome to a new video. Check out our view when we woke up. It's pretty cool up here. Man, it's funny. It's like first light, you're just like <laughs> going crazy trying to get those easy ones, you know? And it's pretty discouraging when you're doing it that fast because you're typically glassing over deer. I just glassed some of my favorite spots and I did it quick. Didn't see a single deer. So, dang, this place has changed. But I'm sure if we just post up, pick it apart, wait for a little more daylight and use a scope, we'll find some deer. But I'll tell you what, so far, this place is not like it was the last, the first couple years, I should say, that we hunted. It's changed up here. I bet Jordan hasn't even scouted once. Harbertson. Jordan Harbertson has this tag. Where you at, Jordan? Sending memes. Sending memes using the old man app, old person app on my face. This is a photo of me at Total Archery Challenge I, with the old man app. I look a lot like my dad. <laughs> <laughs> pretty handsome, dude. A pretty handsome old man dating a college girl. <laughs> You can see, like, it looks like the wrinkles even got got to Bridget, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Dang, <laughs> look at my fuzzy neck hair, hair on my ears. Kept the ear tuck after all these years. Yeah, I'm still rocking the ear tuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, guys, I get so much crap about the ear tuck. Oh, keep it coming. It's only 6:47 right now. There's probably still some good quality morning glass to do because the deer can pop out of trees at any moment, jump ridge to ridge and enter the basin. But we got a few things to do before we get out of here. So we wanna go make sure we get them done. There's, I have two cameras that are set up and on, and uh, one is on just a bedding area, no salt, and one is on salt. And then on top of that, I have an extra bag of critter lick and an extra camera with us to uh, put out if needed. So right as it got light, we did spot eight bucks were up high got some video of them in the phone scope they were out there quite a ways tried to zoom in for you guys to get a good look there's a really solid four point in there and he was kind of leading the way he looked like the boss man big old gut um still have a lot of growth to do and one interesting fact that martin's really studied a lot is he's looked at pictures compared from this year's dates to the exact same dates last year and what do you think and like they're like seven to ten days behind on their antler growth i don't know if that's because we had a hard win super hard winter and like the food didn't sprout up as quick for them but uh you can definitely see the difference but they look like they might finish like strong. finish stronger than last year hmm. but they are definitely behind but uh other than that we saw a group of six they were up up there quite high by some cliffs just some average bucks and then everywhere else there's scattered two or three point here and there so no no slammers yet but thought it'd be fun to share some of that phone scope video with you guys you can see at different distances you kind of get different quality of sharpness and even comparing it to this cow moose that went over the ridge and i just barely caught her she was a lot closer and a lot better light you can see the video is a lot sharper so Anyways, let's go get down to the trail cams and check those. There's some deer tracks right through here, right at about the same elevation as the camera. So I think it'll have something if it stayed up. This camera has literally been here since the first year we hunted. And the poor thing has like got frostbite or something and broke. Look at that. <laughs> 
literally <laughs> just like hanging on by a strap. These literally got like frostbite or something where the webbing goes through and they broke. Still has power, 96 photos and 98% battery. Small buck on the 8th. Yeah, it's not very consistent here. Another doe on the 11th. He's coming up to dig himself a bed there. Yeah, he's gonna post up, it looks like. Yeah, he was there for a while. He's like all the photos. Oh, here we go. There's that 3x4 that we saw. So yeah, that's a 3x4 we glassed up here last night. We got some good phone scope of him. Those are pretty photos. Alright guys, we're gonna go check camera number two. This is a new camera I set this year. I put out a bag of critter lick. Again, don't know what to expect. Don't really have any expectations, but in the past it's been a good spot, so I am hoping for a shooter. At least one. some rocks is like a little bit of a retaining wall but sprouted up that wasn't like that before make sure to check out our how to set trail cams video yeah you want I got all the tips in there and the things that I should have done here that <laughs> I did not see so basically it's not connected <laughs> but it's locked that's what counts. I feel like I'm striking out up here so far this year. Well, there's probably 2,000 photos of that branch. That branch like sprouted up in the last couple weeks. One like spike came by the second day. That branch was in front of it triggering it, but even outside of that, there is not a single deer other than that one. I don't even know what I'm going to do with that. It's such a good camera. It could be valuable somewhere else. Yeah. And plus, if we ever, like, come glass here, you can kind of get an idea of what's there anyway. So, I might pack that off the mountain and my critter lick. Time to break. Camp down. We got the hammocks down. And everything ready to rock and roll except for the straps. You got to package those up. But real quick. Just to let you guys know, just a reminder, our Hush Lemonade Ignite Signature Series flavor with Mountain Ops is in stock always. Some people thought this was just a promotional piece when we did the truck giveaway, but they're available in packs, the trail packs like this one, which I always have a few in my backpack at all times, and the tubs. And they're doing a truck giveaway this month, so look into that too. All that information, along with all our discount codes, are in the description box. So far the best bet in this area, right here, but not for deer, for elk, so I saved that bag of critter lick from high country. I'm going to spread it out here to try to keep these guys coming in consistently. big bulls hit the salt this morning so new bag of critter like I'm not gonna come up here for probably two weeks but when I do I'm gonna bring more more goods salt and maybe even some stump liquor I just like to try to keep these out here because I promise you guys as soon as our hunt starts they're on the move not even if they happen to stick around I'll have like literally that first week only but it's fun to get pictures of them anyway, so we're done. That's it. We're just going to bomb down and um, get to the truck and head out of here. Go get some breakfast, maybe.